I've used creative communication to solve problems related to especially people learning different science. For example, in chemistry, people sometimes have a hard time understanding subatomic particles and, mole and molecules and atoms and making those connections between quantities and numbers. So instead of jumping right into that, which can be very difficult for people, I've learned to be creative and use analogies or relating that to something that is more accessible, such as cooking or money or building something. And then when people can make the relation between something large and familiar to something small or subatomic and unfamiliar, it makes it easier for them to make those connections and build upon that knowledge. So several years ago, I started making videos of myself explaining biology and entomology in language that was accessible and familiar to people my age and people who don't fit the stereotypical model of a scientist. It's a choice that I'm really glad that I made, actually. I've received so much positive feedback about videos no more complicated than me holding a bug in front of a camera and actually, uh, just like this, me literally holding a bug in front of a camera and explaining what makes it tick. Note to self, I should make a video about what makes ticks tick. That'd be pretty cool. I, wait, sorry, that's neither here nor there. Um, the, the point of what I'm saying is the choice not to excise my personality, the choice to bring all of my quirkiness into how I communicate is what seems to make the difference. A big part of being creative really can be just figuring out how to bring all of you to whatever it is that you choose to do.